has been a while since I've been in a rant mode, but this is needed and it's a big one. F Intel. Let's talk about how because of Intel, now thousands of Thunderbolt devices out there worth thousands of dollars are glorified doorstoppers. Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss Fest TV. Hope you guys are having a great day. Before we start, check the info box down below for all the links and all that, just fuck it. If you don't know this, you have to know. Intel killed backward compatibility between Thunderbolt 4 and Thunderbolt 2 and 1. Before, Thunderbolt 3 was backward compatible with Thunderbolt 2 and 1. No problem there, worked just fine, just you needed an adapter and you were ready to go. For some reason, <laughs> Intel decided with Thunderbolt 4 to kill this backward compatibility. So Thunderbolt 4 on Intel computers is backward compatible with Thunderbolt 3, but not with Thunderbolt 2 or Thunderbolt 1. And there are many audio interfaces out there that are Thunderbolt 2 or Thunderbolt 1. Many DSP accelerator cards are. By doing this, Intel literally wasted probably millions of people's money, thousands and thousands of dollars, you know, millions of dollars, because now if you are on PC with a Thunderbolt 4 port, you cannot use your Thunderbolt 2 devices. Monitors, hard drives, GPUs, audio interfaces, DSP cards, none of that can work anymore. And I found out this by building my new computer, my new main computer is a PC based around the i9-14900KS processor and the MSI Z790 Mag Ace motherboard. At first I contacted MSI, I was asking why my Thunderbolt devices do not even show up because there was conflicting information online. Some people said it had backward compatibility. Some people said they didn't and it freaking didn't. And so I asked MSI and MSI told me, well, it's not really our fault, it's Intel fault. And turns out that seems to be the case. And the reason, official, non-official reason as to why Intel killed this compatibility, backward compatibility is apparently, don't quote me on this, uh, it's because of a vulnerability there that was on Thunderbolt 1 and 2. This vulnerability though, apparently it was basically only if someone actually broke into your house and, <laughs> and had physical access to your computer by plugging a USB-C port or a USB port device, a kind of device was accessing also your Thunderbolt. If someone breaks into your house and have access to your computer, you have a different kind of problems that you could probably solve with a 12 gauge. That is, if that's the case, the stupidest reason, right? Now, now I also found out that Asus, the brand that makes motherboard and computer parts, made a downgrade firmware for their motherboard, Thunderbolt 4 motherboard, that reverts to NV, I think 31 or 32, something like that. So that reversed them to Thunderbolt 3, I think. And so they are compatible with Thunderbolt 2. Again, all these information, I'm giving you the best that I have, but there's still conflicting information out there. But Asus made this mod, so to speak, this firmware or BIOS update available for their motherboard that makes it so that you can use Thunderbolt 1 and 2. I asked MSI if they could do the same. They said they don't offer the service and I can understand why, but I also think it's complete BS. And I also think that the motherboard manufacturer, if they have this option to give this option to people out there and maybe put a disclaimer if you're worried about the uh, vulnerability or something, but let people decide because there's a ton of people out there that if they didn't know this, and even going forward, because at some point everybody's computer is gonna be outdated, and we don't want to change our entire system <laughs> in studios, which works perfectly because of this. And keep in mind, there's still people using Pro Tools HD, which is 20 years old. So this is BS. This is just a marketing strategy to make people change and spend money because there's really no freaking reason as to why uh, you would make 
Thunderbolt 4 not compatible with 2 and 1. And I also tried several workarounds and some people seem to have success with what I'm about to describe. Uh, so for example, some people had success with Thunderbolt docks connecting a Thunderbolt dock, like for example, the OWC here. Uh, this is the Thunderbolt 3 dock and the Element Hub by CalDigit. Um, some people had success connecting these to a Thunderbolt 4 computer because these have Thunderbolt 3 and 4 compatibility. So the idea was that with the converter cable, the Apple cable that converts Thunderbolt 2 and allows it to plug it into Thunderbolt 3 ports, which these accept, then would be able to communicate with the Thunderbolt 4. So kind of a daisy chain in 2, 3 to 4. It didn't work. Um, I still have hope. I am actually in the process right now to talk with CalDigit, the makers of these, to see because I was able to have the computer recognize that this device was attached to the port. And mind you, there's not even nothing attached to it, but it was not connected. It showed not connected. So I'm trying to troubleshoot and maybe if I can get the computer to connect this hub, this is the one that people have most success with. Uh, I will maybe be able to make the computer see the interfaces because the motor interfaces are Thunderbolt 2. Again, using the uh, Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 cable, which is the one that I used in my previous system. My previous system had a Thunderbolt 3 port. Everything was working fine, not a freaking glitch. And I went from, you know, the best system ever to it doesn't even see it for because of Thunderbolt 4, which, you know, for music, Thunderbolt 4, it's pretty useless. Like we have we have all the bandwidth that we want even in USB, which is how I'm connected now. And, and, you know, I have no problems, but it's just a matter of principle to see if I can make it work. Right. But yeah, so this video is first and foremost to inform you guys, if you're thinking about changing computer, whether it's a laptop, whether it's a PC, like a desktop PC, if it has Thunderbolt 4 ports, none of your Thunderbolt 1 and 2 devices, no matter what it is, will work. Nothing, it won't even be seen. And also this is a call to action and because I'm sure if you don't have this problem now, you will have this problem soon enough. Like I, I see many studios in the next year or so bumping into this problem and that's gonna be a mess. So maybe if we all bitch about it, whether with the motherboard manufacturer or Intel to make it so that we have backward compatibility, because again, there is no freaking reason as to why there wouldn't, not a good reason that I can find, maybe they will give us the option and they will let us decide if we want to risk the vulnerability because most computers and studios are not even connected to the internet. But allow us to use our devices, which are probably two, three, four years old, maybe five at most. And it's unthinkable that Intel made all these things unusable and useless because of this. This is complete BS. And this is what happens, I feel, when companies like that just don't think things through and you know we pay the price for it. But yeah, first and foremost, be aware of this because if you don't have an alternative, like in my opinion, I don't care. I can connect my system USB and fuck it. It doesn't change anything for me other than I have less track count than 96, but I don't mix a 96. So it's a, really a matter of principle because this is this is absolutely unacceptable. And um, yeah, that's that's the rant. I think it's a good idea if we share this video and make people aware of it, because again, I can see how sooner than later many studios whether our professional studios or home studios will face this problem and if they don't know first of all they will lose so much time because i didn't know i lost a couple of days trying to figure out why my thunderbolt devices wasn't wouldn't show up on a motherboard with thunderbolt ports and second because they're probably going to have to buy different devices or restructure their system and this for this th for this reason it's absolutely unthinkable <laughs> anyway i hope you liked the video i hope it was informative if you did don't forget to leave a like leave comments down below leave comments down below if you know anything more than i do about this if you heard something if you have a workaround any information i it would be cool if this video in the comment section become kind of a hub 
for gathering information on this because it's kind of a big deal. But that's it. Visit the new website, MixBusTV.com to book Mix and Mastering with me if you want private lessons and all that. Mix and Mastering courses are all there as well. If you like the videos, please consider using the super thanks or grab some merch. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join the channel if you want to access the exclusive videos. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. See you next time.